Hey everyone, welcome to Dancing with Bella. So, to be honest, I was actually not gonna upload this whole month. I've been having so much going on and I still have so much going on, but I found a little gap and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make a YouTube video. So, here I am. Anyway, so I know ever since I started my YouTube channel, I've gotten so many questions about the VIP room. And as you guys may know by the title, today I'm gonna be answering what happens in the VIP room. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything, so I'm just gonna be honest with you guys from the start. And to be honest, yes, there are girls who give extras in the VIP room. But does that mean all strippers do? No. The vast majority of strippers aren't prostitutes. And it's actually more rare than what you guys would think. I've always said that the strip club is just a job. And just like any other job, you know, you have those few employees who will steal from the company and stuff. And just because they're doing it doesn't mean that everybody else is doing it. And that's basically how the strip club is. Just because a few girls are doing it doesn't mean we're all doing it. So that's what I want to get through everybody's head. There's a lot of misconceptions about the strip club and this is a big one because, you know, people come in there thinking, you know, like, hey, I can get laid tonight. I could get head. It's like, no, you can't. Also, like a lot of clubs are against that. If they find out a girl is doing something like that, she'll get fired. And for those who don't know, there are undercover cops that do go into the strip club and they will arrest the customer and the dancer who are playing into any sexual activity and stuff. So yeah, um, a lot of dancers are very careful about that because once that happens, you get a prostitution charge. And aside from the legal matters and all that, it's just bad for business, period. So to answer your guys' question, really no sexual activity really happens in the VIP room. And it doesn't happen on a daily basis and for sure not by all the dancers. So yeah, I know that, oh my God, I know there's been so many guys who say, oh, like I had a dancer do this to me in the VIP room or this or that, you know, or my friend told me that he had this done to him and I wanted to find out or something. It's like, boy, you're crazy. <laughs> like these motherfuckers lie so much. And sometimes even if they did have someone do it to them, they think that any other dancer is gonna be down. But in reality, not a lot of dancers are down to do that. And if you guys are already strippers, you guys will know those strippers who are like, oh, that girl's an extra or that girl does this in the VIP room or that. And I don't like to judge other girls based on what somebody else said about them. You know what I mean? If I see it with my own two eyes, it's like, okay, girl, like, I know what you do and all that, but you know, like, it's not in my business to be talking about that girl or like saying this or that. If you're so worried about the next dancer, you're not gonna make any money. That's why, like, rumors and all this is just like, I drop them because there's no need. And some girls end up getting labeled an extra just because they know how to sell VIP rooms. But you know, like, I don't know the situation for every dancer and stuff, but um, like I said, the vast majority of dancers don't give extras. So yeah, um, for those who have thought about doing extras or, you know, like who have been tempted or, you know, whatever, you know, like, I'm not here to judge you guys, you know, like, but I feel like what scares me the most is the thought of having an undercop coming and arresting me. I'll basically just straight up tell my customer, hell no, I'm not getting arrested and getting charged with a prostitution charge. Like, no. And then they'll like light up and be like, okay, yeah, like, yeah, we don't want that or nothing, you know, and then bring them back down to the level that we're at, you know, like we're at a strip club, we're not at a brothel, you know, you just got to stand your foot and be strong and, you know, tell them no, because obviously I wouldn't want to see any of us getting arrested and getting charged like that. So, um, yeah, like let that fear of the undercover cops stop you from ever doing something like that. And, you know, that's when raids happen too, you know, um, cops will come raid the club because of stuff like that going on too and then the club will get shut down and then there's no business for anyone so um yeah just think about that and think about everything I've said but if you're a customer watching this like don't try to talk girls into having sex or getting head in the VIP room or nothing like that you know like you can get in trouble too and who knows like for both dancers and customers like 
that person might have an STD or something. I don't know. Just be careful, guys. Like I said, you guys are like my babies, so I don't want anything happening to you guys. Um, just be, you know, think about the situation and don't ever give in to that because, you know, that could be your life, you know? Like that person might give you HIV or, you know, you could go to jail or I don't know. There's so much that could go on. But yeah, so real quick for those people who don't know what a VIP room is, it's pretty much strictly a private intimate environment for the dancers and customers. That's usually where you go and get away from all the chaos of the club. Sometimes the club is so crazy, you know, like you can't even hear your customer and stuff. So usually you'll take them to the back to have more of a personal one-on-one -on -one experience. You know, lap dances are usually done more out in the open, you know, everybody could see you. So yeah, customers sometimes want that one-on-one -on -one experience and they just want a quieter vibe, you know, to get to know the dancer that they're with. The champagne room is pretty much similar to the VIP, except it's gonna be more expensive and you're actually gonna have a bottle and, you know, bottle service, basically. I've had so many different experiences with each customer I took to the VIP room. But most of the customers I've taken to VIP room were so sweet and just so nice. The way I like to start my time in the VIP room is usually by just sitting down, having a drink, you know, getting to know each other more. You know, just go a little deeper into the conversation and, you know, we'll spend like 15, 30 minutes talking, depending if they got the half an hour or an hour. And that's what I forgot to mention. VIP rooms usually have a flat rate for half an hour or an hour. Prices really depend on the strip club and the location and stuff. And it also depends if your club has a VIP room. But um, yeah, like I said, the prices could be anywhere from like 200 to 500 for half an hour and the hour can be anywhere from 500 to a thousand or more who knows like i said different in every location so let's say i'm just taking a customer for an hour vip room session for that first half hour you know just have a drink talk and usually for the last half hour i'll dance for my customer since the vip room is in a more quiet private and intimate area you know like i feel like the dances are more personalized to the customer and Dancers tend to feel more comfortable and tend to give better dances. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like, you know, a lot of dancers do feel that way. And the last stretch of the hour for me is usually like having a drink with my customer, kind of mellowing things down and also trying to figure out, you know, if we're going to add more time to the VIP or, you know, um, if we're just going to say our goodbyes and stuff. But like I said, my experiences in the VIP have been so different within each customer. You know, there's been times where the customer just wants to talk. They don't even want to dance in the VIP room. So yeah, those are my favorite. <laughs> it's literally a blessing when someone comes in and says, let's go to the VIP room and talk. So I'm like, okay, cool. I've also came across customers who have certain fetishes. Um, I know some girls aren't okay with this, but I really don't mind if the fetish isn't too crazy or anything. But yeah, I've just had customers who took me to the VIP room just to rub my feet. Another customer, um, I remember him having a fetish for spines or something. And as you guys know, I used to be or I still am really, really skinny. So my spine sticks out. So all he did was rub my spine and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> I remember a girl telling me once that her customer wanted to take her to the VIP so she can kick his balls. I don't know if I have the soul or the heart to do that to somebody else, even if it's for their enjoyment. I don't know, like that hurts me and I don't even have balls, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's just been different situations in the VIP room. Another question that you guys have asked me about the VIP room is if you have security there. And again, it's just one of those things that it really depends on the club. I really don't know the security situation for each club, but I've worked at clubs where they had no security. You would just have the waitress coming back and forth, checking up on you guys. There are clubs where you have security standing in VIP, checking out each room and stuff. From my experience, I mean, you will have someone coming in and out of the room once in a while. One thing though that I have noticed is that most of the VIP rooms will have cameras in the room somewhere. Regardless, someone's always watching. And one thing that I do wanna add is that if you ever feel uncomfortable with a customer that you're gonna take to the VIP room, 
you don't have to go it's not required for you to go with any customer or anything you know you have the right to refuse service and also like if you want someone there with you in the VIP room ask a waitress if she'll go check on you often or if she'll stay right outside the door or something and just make sure you tip her well you know because she's taking care of you if anything happens she could go call the manager or a security or she could just step in some way and help so yeah guys this is all i have i hope i answered the most asked question like you guys have literally asked me this so many times and i'm finally making a video for it so i apologize for taking forever but yeah i hope i cleared some things out and i cleared the air about this whole what happens in the vip room kind of deal um like i said yes there is extras but are all strippers doing that no and for those men who are trying to get sex and all that please don't ask us if we're down to do extras or if we're down to go home with you or anything like literally strippers get asked that every day and i'm sick and tired of hearing shit like that go to a brothel you know find someone who actually does that type of work like i said i support sex workers i support escorts basically anyone in the sex industry i support but make sure you guys know what a stripper is what an escort is and what a prostitute is maybe that will help you get for whatever you're looking for but yeah <laughs> like i said this is just my opinion though other dancers might have different opinions on this subject but this is just my honest opinion from my experiences and stuff so yeah, if you guys have any other questions about lap dances, champagne room, VIP room, or just anything stripping in general, make sure you guys comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.